guys, do you want a hack to cool your drinks faster? I'll show you how to do it. I'm Anishwa and I'm a PhD student at Australian National University. I have a question for you today. So what do you think is the easiest and the quickest way to chill your cold drinks or water? Let's say you have a party in your house and your friends are coming over and you have only 10 minutes in your hand and you really want to chill your cold drinks before they arrive. What do you think is the easiest way to do that? So let's do an experiment today to find out. So for today's experiment, let's see what you need. Some sugar, some salt, some water bottles. This is basically a pseudo soft drink that you want to cool. Um, so for fun today, I have kept two and we'll try two different types of liquids. Also, you don't really need these water bottles. You can also choose cups if you want to. The next thing that you need is a container full of ice. And again, if you want to have more fun, you can try with your actual cold drinks. And the most important bit is the thermometer gun. When you're trying this laser gun out, um, be very careful. As this has a laser pointer, it's basically an infrared um, light sensor. You want to be very careful because it has a pointer, which is not really good for anyone's eyes. So do not point at anyone's eyes. As long as you point to an object, it's fine. So for today's experiment, we are going to try two things. We are going to try to chill the liquids in two different types of ice. One is the regular ice. And the second time around, we'll add a lot of salt in this ice and see what happens. What do you think will happen? Do you have any prediction? All right, one more thing here to mimic the drinks that we regularly have, water and some sugary drinks because you know sugar is the fun drink and it's in, available in most of the cold drinks. So let's try with sugar water and just a regular water and see how that essentially changes the temperature. All right, to begin with, I'm going to test the temperature of the water first. I'm going to point the thermometer gun at the water. Um, try to ensure that the laser pointer is actually inside the water. It's around 20.5 degrees. Let's just repeat that with this one. Yeah, that's around the same. So 20.5 degrees, 20.6, yeah, good. They are around 20.5 degrees to begin with. Now I'm going to add sugar to one of them. Um, just to keep things, you know, repeatable, I'm going to put four sachets of this sugar. Shake it up so that the, water, the sugar dissolves. So the one on the right side would be the sugar one because they now look very similar. It's very difficult to, um, you know, understand which one is what. So I'm going to put the sugar one on this side. Let's dig in into the ice and put it inside so that all these surfaces are covered with ice. Okay, one is in. Now I'm going to set the timer. Let's give it a go and start. Now that the timer has run out, let me pause that. And let's see what's the temperature of each of these bottles. Taking the first one out. Taking the second one out. This is uh, sugar and this is regular water. All right, let's open this up. Now let's quickly measure the temperature. It's going down. All right, this is around 15.1 and this is around 16.1. Cool. So what has happened is the difference between the room temperature and the iced uh, uh, ice version of the sugar water is around 5 degrees, whereas the regular water is around 4 degrees. So yeah, this cooled a little bit faster than this one. Now let's repeat this experiment with the second part, which is we fill this ice, um, ice bucket with a lot of salt. I have filled it with more ice and have drained the water that was that melted. Now I'm going to add a bunch of um, salt just to measure how much salt I'm adding. Kind of adding half a cup, which is a lot. It's ideal if you if you mix these as well. So I'm going to play around with it and mix the salt into the ice. All right, let's quickly measure the water temperature again because we just rinse off the bottle. Um, I want to ensure that it's back to the room temperature. It's around 19.5, um, a little off than 20, but it's a fluctuation of uh, 0.5 degrees. All right, uh, now I'm going to add the same amount of um, sugar that I added the first round. The last one goes in. I shake this up to dissolve all the sugar. Now let me quickly put these back. Again, sugar on this side, regular water on that side. 
All right, now that it's all covered, um, let's again set the timer and let's wait. All right, now the 10 minutes timer is up. Let me pause this. All right, now let's first have a quick look on the obvious things on the sides. Uh, one thing to notice here is that along with the condensation here, some part has actually become icy. All right, if we look here. Now based on the container behavior, can you still predict what will happen to the liquids? Let's see, let's find out. This is the first one, this is the second one. All right, let's quickly read the temperatures. So the temperature of the sugared water is around 10.7. And this is around 13.4. From the rough results, you can clearly see that this one, um, the ice plus salt, has done a much more better job at cooling these liquids. Um, now let's do a proper comparison. Okay, so I've repeated this experiment twice and I've written down, I've averaged everything and written down in the table here. Um, so to say, the room temperature value for water and sugar water were roughly the same. It was around 20.5 degrees. When we did with the ice, the water uh, was around 16 degrees and the sugar was 15, 15 degrees. So there's about um, a five degrees fluctuation in the sugar water and a four degree fluctuation in just water. The ice plus salt uh, method, um, the sugar water was around 10.5 degrees. So the fluctuation is about 10 degrees here. And when we repeated that with water, the sep it was around 13.3, sorry, 13 degrees Celsius, which means the fluctuation was around 7 degrees Celsius. So as you can clearly see, the clear winner uh, here is the ice plus salt. Now let's understand why this happened. Let's understand the science behind what's going on here. I have already written things down, so I'm going to just use a highlighter to take you through the text. So there are three um, states of uh, you know, in any material in general. Um, similarly, water also has three states. We have solid, liquid, and gas. Um, solid is the ice, the liquid is the water, and gas is the water vapor. Just for context again, the table is, um, the, the graph here is, the y-axis here is, in, is temperature in degrees Celsius, and this shows the energy level. So it goes from low to high. To basically go from one state to other, there's an exchange of energy that goes on. So we start with uh, low energy state, which is the solid state. And once uh, the temperature hits zero degrees, it starts freezing. So we go from, sorry, we grow from solid uh, to liquid at zero degree. It continues until it gets to a turning point, but again, um, you know, absorbs some energy and goes up and change state from liquid to gas. Now, when we do this part, when we basically go up in the curve and we go from solid to gas, we absorb energy or we add energy. And similarly, when we do the other way around, we basically release energy. So it's this part of the curve. Now, the part that we are actually working on today is this bit here that I have zoomed in and showed you here. Okay, so the crux is that we have ice. Um, it continues to melt to water as you saw on the surface and on the, you know, and at the end of the container. Um, and when we just have ice, when we just have water, the temperature at which the water then freezes back to ice is zero degree. Um, and that's what happens usually. Now when we add salt to it, this freezing temperature now went back uh, to a certain degrees. The change in the freezing point depends on the amount of salt you add. The range of the freezing point of saline water or ice plus salt water goes from zero degree to about negative 20 degrees, depending on the concentration of salt you put in. So it can go as high as negative 20. And again, the salt here that I'm talking about is the table salt, which is NaCl, if anyone wants to go dig deeper. Um, but yeah, the regular salt, that table salt, is goes from zero degree to negative 20 degrees, depending on amount of salt you put in. Now that's exactly what's happening. So when we have the regular water, the freezing temperature is just, or rather regular ice, the freezing temperature is just zero degree. But as we go up, as we, as we put more and more salt, the freezing temperature dips low. And thereby, the melting process keeps the ice feel, like the ice becomes more colder and hence it chills the liquid more quicker. And that's exactly why you saw the iced water, you know, the ice plus salt water chilling the liquids quicker. 
Now there's one more thing. So there are few takeaways here. The first takeaway is that the freezing point of ice is 0 degree. Um, but the freezing point of ice basalt is between negative 1 degrees to 20 degrees. Again, the key, key point here is its NaCl, the table salt. Um, for just for fun, you should play around with this and you can add as much sal salt as you want to see if you can get the temperature of the liquids even further down. What you can also play with is um, you can, you know, as you chill the liquid, start, you know, rotating it. If you rotate it, it the, all these surfaces would get equal amount of cooling. Um, and hence the heat transfer uh, would be much more quicker. So if you keep spinning it, you will see that there is an effect of it as well. Now as you saw today, we tried with two different liquids. One was water and one was um, so sugar water. I explained to you why ice plus salt, you know, chilled both the liquids quicker. But I did not explain why the two different liquids behave differently and that is for you to find out. Yeah, also for fun. Play around with as many types of liquids you want. Um, I did try this experiment at home with three different types of liquid and they did behave differently as the sugar content in these are different. Uh, we did one example where it is a lo lot of salt, sorry, lot of sugar and no sugar in each of the bottles, but you can play around and figure out more things. Have fun doing the experiment and thank you for watching.